Good morning, guys. Cheers. Happy Friday. Welcome to Morning Coffee Talks. This morning we're going to talk about a little bit about spirituality. First off, I got a question for you guys. Just ask yourselves this: What does it mean to be a success? What does it mean to be successful? Does that mean having nice cars, a big house, being the CEO of a company? What does success mean to you? Because I don't think that's really success. I mean, I'm not saying any, none of those things are nice and stuff like that, but I think success is generally just being a happy human being. Not giving a damn what anyone else thinks about you. Doing what you want to do, no matter what, because you feel like doing it. Not having to answer to anybody. Being completely comfortable in your own skin. Being selfless to others when you want to be. Being able to say no. Being able to say yes when you want to. Just being authentic. That, that to me is being successful. So I want you guys to think about that. What success means to you. Because usually when someone says, oh, are they successful? They mean, do they have a lot of fucking money? That's basically what it comes down to. That's what people think about success. But crazy thing is, when you die, you can't take any of that shit with you. Not one bit. Because you know why? We are spiritual beings living a human existence. That's what we are. Spiritual beings living a human existence. That's what God's worried about, our souls, right? Our spirit. That's what it's all about. Your body, your cells and your body changing every day. Within four or five years, whatever it is, how many years, your body, every cell in your body is completely different. So obviously, this is just the, my body's changing every year. I am not my actual body. I am not my thoughts, right? There's a me and there's an I, right? Because people always say, I'm depressed, I'm happy, I'm sad. No, you're not. I is not. You can say, I'm having a depression, I'm having a sadness, but it's like, give it a few minutes. Fucking wait till somebody presses another button and tells you how good you look. That'll make you feel good, then you'll be happy. Wait till somebody presses another button and tell you how big of a piece of shit you are, right? All of a sudden, you're down again, you're sad again fucking crazy we're all crazy this is a lunatic asylum basically is what this world is here right we let anything and everything affect anything and everything we do one minute we're up somebody presses another button we're down somebody says something else we're up we're down we're all over the fucking place me too right it'll drive you fucking nuts sometimes but that's why you have to sit back and almost watch yourself playing the game of life, right? Like, know that you're, if you're angry, take a step back and like, you watch you if that makes sense. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you gotta step back. All right, I'm angry. Why am I angry? And be aware. It's called awareness, right? Aware of why am I feeling this way? Why am I letting this person affect me? Because you don't have to. It's all a choice, right? Like, if you're fucking angry at somebody, that's your fucking problem. You're the one that's angry. You're the one that's upset. Not that person. You're the one with the fucking problem. Not them. Right? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about when you're depressed or when you're sad or when you're angry? Like, ah, I'm feeling this right now. And then like, you know, like I said, five, ten minutes later, something else happens. Or you fucking buy a scratch off from the score and you scratch it off. All of a sudden you're happy again. You know what I mean? That's why people get it fucked up with money. Oh, if I just had this much money, everything would be good. I'd be happy. No, the fuck it won't. No, the fuck you won't. You got to be happy without all that shit. There's fucking people in this world that have nothing compared to what we have in the United States and stuff. Happy as fuck. Living in mud fucking huts. Because really what it comes down to... It's not about adding anything. It's about subtracting things from your life, right? It's about living a simpler life. Me too. I need to do it too. We accumulate and expect too much. Expect little. That That's the big problem. Talking about this spirituality stuff too is like, and people get fucked up is expectations. And you expect this to happen. You expect a certain person to act this way or that way. And it's like, we get fucked up in them expectations, right? Because I know I'm a fucking idiot sometimes, right? I do dumb shit. So why would I expect no one else to do dumb shit, right? Why do I expect that 
you know, I go somewhere, or we go on vacation, or I'm going to hang out with my buddies or do this, and I'm expecting certain things to happen when they don't happen, guess what? <laughs> Crash and burn, right? Live simple, expect little, give much. That is how you find happiness. Expect little, live simple, and give much. And think of yourself a little less and others a little more. Simple, not easy, man. It's very simple, it's not easy. But do that. Next time you're feeling upset or angry, take a step back from yourself and watch yourself and see how your like your body feels how you're acting because when you get upset and you get frustrated and you get angry the only person you're fucking hurting is yourself truly your blood pressure your anxiety all those things you're the one that's feeling that nobody else is feeling that I mean somebody might feel some of that because you know you're being a dick or whatever you're being to them but you're the one, like, when I get upset and I get angry and I get all frustrated, I'm the, my body feels that. Now, now I'm the one feeling it, and now I'm hurting myself. So what's that mean? Like I said, we're all crazy. I'm crazy. You're crazy. We're all crazy, right? But that's also what's awesome is that this world, this life is crazy, beautiful, amazing, nuts, insane, like, you just got to play the game. It's all, we're all in the game, right? The game of life. And if you're feeling down or you're feeling low this morning, just give it a little time. Trust me. Just give it a little time. You'll be all right. You'll be good. And maybe an hour or two later, you might be down again. You'd be at, up, down, up, down, right? Play that little fucking little game. And as men, we all struggle. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Everybody, every man struggles. Every man gets aggravated, depressed, feels down about themselves, feels not good enough, feels like they're not living up to everybody's expectations. Look, man, in one motherfucker's story, I'm a hero. In another motherfucker's story, I'm the villain. Just the way it goes. Sometimes you're the hero, sometimes you're the villain. Just the way it is, man. We ain't perfect. Never claim to be. I'm just trying to get better every day. So since we're on this spirituality stuff, make sure you thank your creator for another day when you get up in the morning. I get up every morning, I thank God for another day, I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me, to do God's will, do my purpose on this earth, and I suggest you guys do the same, because we got this guys, together, all of us together, men with other men, serving other men. Helping other men out that are struggling, struggling with it, right? Being there for one another. Being considerate and compassionate. Having empathy for others. Seeing that they're struggling and what they're going through. I've been there. I've been at the lows of lows. So who am I to judge somebody? Who the fuck am I to judge somebody when I've been in your shoes? Think about that, guys. And remember, what's your purpose? What's your gift that you're better at than most that you can give to the world to make the world a better place? Because that's what it's all about. Let's try to make the world a better place, guys, than it was yesterday. All right? Cheers. Happy Friday. Let's go crush the day. Love you all. And as always, go get you some, baby. <laughs>